Słuchaj opowiadań po angielsku, ucz się angielskiego słuchając. Native Speaker czyta, część 32. Za pierwszym razem każde zdanie usłyszysz dwa razy, bez napisów. Wymaga to skupienia się na znaczeniu, a nie na czytaniu tłumaczenia. Następnie usłyszysz go po raz trzeci z tłumaczeniem, dzięki czemu będziesz mógł, mogła sprawdzić, jak dobrze go zrozumiałeś, zrozumiałaś. Powodzenia! Every Saturday Paul went to the market to buy food and other things. Every Saturday Paul went to the market to buy food and other things. Every Saturday, Paul went to the market to buy food and other things. W każdą sobotę Paweł chodził na rynek, żeby kupić żywność i inne rzeczy. He put them in a big basket, but he was old and weak, so he always paid another man to carry the basket home for him. He put them in a big basket, but he was old and weak, so he always paid another man to carry the basket home for him. He put them in a big basket, but he was old and weak, so he always paid another man to carry the basket home for him. Wkładał je do dużego koszyka, a że był stary i słaby, więc zawsze płacił innemu mężczyźnie, żeby niósł dla niego koszyk do domu. But one Saturday, while he was walking home in front of the man with the basket, the man ran away with it. But one Saturday, while he was walking home in front of the man with the basket, the man ran away with it. But one Saturday, while he was walking home in front of the man with the basket, the man ran away with it. Ale pewnej soboty, gdy wracał do domu, idąc przed mężczyzną, który niósł jego koszyk, ten mężczyzna uciekł z koszykiem. The next Saturday, when Paul went to the market again, his friend said, Look, there he is. The next Saturday, when Paul went to the market again, his friend said, Look, there he is. The next Saturday, when Paul went to the market again, his friend said, Look, there he is. W następną sobotę, kiedy Paweł ponownie poszedł na rynek, jego przyjaciel powiedział – Popatrz, tam on jest. That man stole your things last week. That man stole your things last week. That man stole your things last week. Ten człowiek ukradł twoje rzeczy w zeszłym tygodniu. Paul at once hid behind the shop and stayed there until the man left the market. Paul at once hid behind the shop and stayed there until the man left the market.
Paul at once hid behind the shop and stayed there until the man left the market. Paweł natychmiast ukrył się za sklepem i tam pozostał, dopóki mężczyzna nie opuścił rynku. His friend was very surprised. Why did you do that? He asked. His friend was very surprised. Why did you do that? He asked. His friend was very surprised. Why did you do that? He asked. Jego przyjaciel był bardzo zaskoczony. Dlaczego to zrobiłeś? Zapytał. Well, said Paul, that man was carrying my basket when he left me a week ago. Well, said Paul, that man was carrying my basket when he left me a week ago. Well, said Paul, that man was carrying my basket when he left me a week ago. No cóż, powiedział Paweł, ten człowiek niósł mój koszyk, kiedy zostawił mnie tydzień temu. He will want me to pay him for seven days work and that will cost me more than a basket full of things. He will want me to pay him for seven days work and that will cost me more than a basket full of things. He will want me to pay him for seven days work and that will cost me more than a basket full of things. Będzie chciał, żebym mu zapłacił za siedem dni pracy, a to będzie mnie kosztować więcej niż kosz pełen rzeczy. Sprawdź się, odpowiedz na pytania. Odpowiedzi napisz w komentarzu. What did Paul do every Saturday? Why did he do this? What did he do with the things? What did he do then? Why did he do this? What happened one Saturday? What was Paul doing when this happened? What did Paul do the next Saturday? What did a friend of his say? What did Paul do? When did he come out? How did his friend feel about this? What did he say? What was Paul's answer? That's all for today. See you later, alligator. To wszystko na dzisiaj. Do zobaczenia. Pa. Pa.